Wow, that is very good question. I just went in and I thank God. I've been training so hard against this competition, and I thank God I won at last. Since I have managed to know someone like Ade Kuro Yodrayo, Adeni Aminat, and I train with them, that gives me more courage that I want to become more than them. So I'm very happy. I will go back and take my correction, train very hard to make Nigeria proud once again, and to get the good for them. That was my promise about Nigeria. I want to thank Dr. Daniel Igali because now we have a system running. We have the cadets, they had six gold, two silver and one bronze medals. We have the junior, they did very brilliantly, brilliantly. and the evil senior, they showed the, the junior ones that they are high performance athletes. So we have a co continual running system and we want to tell the government individuals to support us so that we can continue with these programs. So that's it. Uh, still reviewing the African Wrestling Championship. You listen first to Sumisola Balogun. Uh, she won the 68 kg cadet. And then we asked her, what was it like, you know, uh, qualifying for the Youth Olympics? I said, it's an amazing feeling uh, going to represent Nigeria right there at the Youth Olympics. So good one for the Nigeria Wrestling Federation. Uh, they've discovered the talent after hosting the African Wrestling Championship. And then we'll, we'll listen to the National Female Wrestling Coach, Purity Aku, uh, saying that, look, the Federation, they've done their part. We have a continuity plan in place, and that consistency is what has been making them successful. So you see, it, it's a continuous work. You, you, you just don't discover talents, and then you abandon them and expect to start winning again. So Nigeria did well at the African Wrestling Championship because there was a system in place that these coaches have been working with. So they went there and experimented and it worked. 10 female wrestlers in the senior category made it to the finals and they won nine gold medals and one silver. It tells you that it's, it's hard work. It's hard work. It's what you saw that you reap. Let's get on with the show now. Welcome to Lou. A lot more tennis is now live on the program. To look good to have you on tonight. Great to be back here, Austin. I know, and now we've missed you. You haven't been around yeah. for quite some time. What's going on? What have you been monitoring in our world of sports? Whoa, a whole lot, Austin. Uh, great, great. Uh, the wrestling championship mm. also. It's mm. it's a great discovery. Right. I, I never would have thought that we would have swept it, boy. At the end of it all, here, we were, here, here, here was Nigeria, uh, top of the medals table. And you ask yourself, look, if we keep going at this pace, mm. then we can go into major tournaments like the Olympics, like the Commonwealth That's Games, right. and I have high hopes mm. of at least ending with social number of, uh, uh, of medals at the end of the tournament. And yeah. this is the kind of thing we want. Yeah. We want to see progress, yeah. measured wow. progress. You want to be able to say, oh, this is what happened some years ago. Mm -hmm. This is where we are going. And we can project that we'll be here in social number so of years. So Miss fought in the cadet category. Yeah. But she had persons to look up to. She said, I watch Odwanya at the Kuroye. I watch Aminata Deni. So you see, she's already looking up. And she says, I want to get better. Than them. And that is great. Uh -huh. And uh, I, I never knew any other person in the in the what's it called? Um, wrestling. Oh, no, oh, no, you are the yes, family uh, is in the wrestling game, but here our sister is the there. there. So I was surprised. Mm. These are the kind of things we and congratulations to Simi Sala uh, yeah. qualifying for the Youth Olympics. Awesome. I mean, that's an awesome feat right mm. there. Mm. And this is the kind of thing we talk about. Look. Odunwa Yohadira Kuroya has gotten some measure of exposure mm -hmm. and that has made her a mentor sort of mm. for a younger wrestler to say look I can I can look towards I can look up to uh Odunwa Yohadira Kuroya see what she's doing with her career see how she's progressing see yeah maybe the money is not pouring in but she's doing well in her game and that is what matters the most and yeah. she can just she cannot look up to her and say look if she can do it I can do it also and here we are with another young awesome wrestler with another heads. name for us to monitor yeah so when we don't hear of Sumisola after the youth olympics we we'll ask the federation ask them questions mm -hmm. what is going on uh -huh. why are we not hearing about her this is one for the future <coughs> guide her yeah that's right jealously that's, that's what it is that's what it's all about development progress and that's what coach purity Aku was saying and we have a system in place uh, of continuity and that's what has been helping us let's talk about this one that's got us this evening and got everybody talking the 19th national sports festival we've been waiting for it since after the 2012 edition uh tagged a quote 2012 and the 19th national sports festival has been officially withdrawn from cross river state 
The decision was taken at the National Council on Sports meeting, which ended today at the General Hassan Katsina House in Kaduna. A voting process was thrown open on the floor of the meeting by the chairman of the meeting and minister for youth and sports, Barrister Solomon DeLong, with state commissioners of sports, director of sports, chairman of state sports councils, sports <coughs> policy facilitators, and other representatives in the sports sector. Having postponed the 19th National Sports Festival for six years, six years, the council resolved that the continued, the continued delay of the hosting of the festival was de detrimental to the growth of sports in Nigeria and therefore withdrew the hosting rights from Cross River State while the federal government will hold the 2018 edition in Abuja in November. So it's about time because, I mean, six years we're waiting for the National Sports Festival. It just had to happen. Mm. And <laughs> unless we tell ourselves the honest truth, we've lost a whole lot by not hosting those, the tournament in those, in those years. Six years is a lot. Uh, athletes have, may have struggled. There are some people, who, there are some athletes who should have discovered mm. and begin to nurture and begin to pay more attention to that we have missed out on. And we have, and that has set Six us back. Years. Six it years is a lot. You, it tells you why we've been struggling. It's a huge mm. setback mm. because there should be a progression. There should be, I mean, you should be able to look back to what you've done at some point and say, okay, uh, this is what has happened to this athlete. This is what this is where we got this athlete from. We, we, we saw him or her at the National Sports Festival, and this is how far the athlete has come. Or we should be able to say, oh, we are we are lacking in this category. Let us see if there is an athlete we can find in the category in the coming years. But that is what we have done to ourselves. We've hit ourselves backward by not hosting this tournament. Wow. And look. The administrator three saying, saying, yeah, three editions. This should have been the third one in that time. Mm -hmm. The administrators now coming to say, look, it's about time. That's Yo, right. we've, we've been waiting like forever for, yeah. the, for this to happen, and you, are, you have not made it happen. So, yes, can we please get get it done mm. already can, can we can can states begin to focus towards mm -hmm. uh the 2018 edition can we not have uh uh something coming up again they are thinking oh let's postpone it again no i mean we should know the readiness of states that are hosting and, and, ahead of time and to avoid stories they passed it to the fct Easy. November, and I think, I think mm. we, this is the point where the fct and the national sports council need to know that these things can happen. If a state can host, the, the Abuja should be ready yeah. to host. Or we should have an alternative in, immediately. We can't push the, the tournament. It's at the detriment of the athletes. It, has, it is at the detriment of sports in general. But we is, cannot push the, the but event. But is November realistic? Is Abuja November? November is realistic. November is realistic because they wouldn't be needing every part of the stadium. Mm. So it, it's quite realistic. However... Um, I, I think a whole lot more will go into it because I'm not sure uh, the, the, the ministry is quite prepared to host the tournament to start with. So it's going to cost them a whole lot more. However, giving themselves uh, nine to ten months, uh, uh, what's it called now, break, should, it, it, I think it's enough time for them to prepare really because if we do not do it this year, it's a slap on the face of the government, really, mm. that the, the this, uh, National Sports Festival goes for the sixth year without <laughs> with, with nothing to write about. I, know. Really. I struggle to talk about it at the start of the program, but that's what it is. The National Sports Festival, the 19th edition, has been withdrawn from Cross River State. The council also approved the reduction of the age of athletes eligible uh, to participate uh, in the National Youth Games and adopted 15 years as upper limits of age for participants, while overage athletes, their airing coaches, and states will be disqualified and find the sum of 250,000 naira uh, per disqualified athlete. I think that is too low. 15. They could have raised that up. Mm. I do not see any reason why we shouldn't have 17, 18 year olds competing. Look, uh, we are Nigeria, some things are peculiar to us. And one of those things is the fact that we do not train athletes early enough. Mm. Outside Nigeria, in Europe, America, yes. Seven years old, you're just beginning, you are probably too late. But in Nigeria, you are early. Let us be realistic. Mm. So if you say at 15, yeah, we look at these kids in the cities and say 15 year old is probably in SS2, SS3. It is not so in most parts of Nigeria. So tapping it at 15, I think it's too low. Mm. I think 18 gives other people a chance. And at 15, how competitive? How will competitive it? will it be, really? We'll have a bunch of kids 
uh, what, what what will be the interest? I think we, we need to make take it a little I'm, bit more I'm, serious. What are the measures in place for age cheats? They, they're saying two hundred and fifty thousand naira per per athlete. Yeah. Good. That is disqualified. Good. However, I, I think <laughs> I, I don't know really, but I, I think that state will still feel <laughs> that. Look, this is a competition for us to mm. win. I, I have to defend something to my governor later on. So they are probably, I think, may, perhaps, I'm, ju I'm just thinking here, perhaps the reason why they say, okay, let's do 15 is because you, you can identify a 15, 16 year old if you see one. You, you might see a 20 year old, 21 year old who's without his beard and they tell you this guy is 17, 18. You probably say, oh, yeah, probably. If he's got a good fitness program in place and all, yeah. it's hard to tell. But, it's but, hard to tell. But I think so, I, get, I get where, where the council, um, I get their direction. It's supposed to be a talent discovery. Um, event. However, yeah. Austin. We, if we do that, we'll shoot ourselves in the foot. Like I said, we can still catch some talent at 16, 17, 18. Yeah. It is not too late. But clearly, if they've been doing it's that for late. four years. Yes. The son has been active from 14. Uh, yeah. It, is, it is not too late, really. Yeah, I think we, should, we, should, we shouldn't really cast aside but the, I think the other teenagers. And that. Yeah, it's it will work. It's it will, it will, it will work. It's just to remind coaches that the essence is to, is to keep integrity. One, and then discover talents early enough so let's see let's see is it's, it's all talks or in all honesty i think it will work but i just feel bad for the guy who will clock 17 by december or the one who will clock 18 by january or the one who's been and the one who's been for six years, waiting for six oh years, for six oh years so for it to happen and it's not no, going to happen no. I, I feel bad for those ones already mm. because they have missed a huge chance uh, to get that career leap that they've been yeah. waiting for yeah, so. and to take a miracle for them to find it back so that's what it is. The 19th edition of the National Sports Festival has been officially withdrawn from Cross River State. And at that council meeting, they said Cross River State, thank you so much. We've waited for too long, six years, and it hasn't happened. So um, Abuja, get ready. In November, we must have um, the 2018 edition of the National Sports Festival. At that point, so now we believe that persons will get to work because this is February. And in November, we should be having it uh, finally come away. Let's talk about the latest FIFA rankings. This one, uh, this one always gets us talking to Lou. Uh, it's been released and it's super good slipped. Yeah. It looks like as usual. <laughs> We've been dropping down the pickings, uh, picking order for a while now. But I'm not too surprised um, because, as I, like I always say, my only concern is <coughs> the performance of the boys on the field. And every time they play, they give their all on the pitch. So, yes, we may have slipped on the rankings again, but like I said, I am not too surprised. Many people will say, oh, yeah, we got to the final of Chan. Let me bust your bubble. Mm. Morocco won Chan and they dropped by three places. Wow. So we are not the only nation who slipped. In fact, the only movement in the top 23 teams was made by Iceland who moved from 20 to 18. So the FIFA Among is trying to tell us, don't teams. underrate this Iceland. They are yes. making progress. <laughs> they are making progress. And I think the, odd, the only other worry for me is that uh, in our group, now our World Cup group, we are the only team not in the top 20. Mm. Argentina, Croatia, Iceland are 14, but that 15, might work. and 18. That might work in, in Nigeria's favor. Yeah, we, we know we are underdogs. The other guys can get complacent. We, we know we are underdogs, but we are 52nd. I wow. think it's way too far behind the others. I don't care, like mm. I said, about where we are on the rankings. Maybe that's... I know the players give their all on the pitch. Yeah. But I'm not comfortable with the position, at least. I should look at that also. Even if I know my kid is brilliant. If he comes on with 17, 7th or 17th out of 20 every time, I may be worried. Look, you need to go back to where your peers yeah, are. But that's what maybe that's what uh, the guys in Nigeria's group will look at. Uh, they're just 52, they're 52nd in the world rank. We might even drop some more <laughs> before the world. <laughs> that will happen. <laughs> but I, I do not think they will take us for granted because mm. we'll be playing some really crunch I games mean, before this. Then. Serbia, Poland, England. Mm. We are going to put up a real fight in those games, I'm sure. The guys I've spoken to are fired up, looking forward to these games already. Coming from two goals down to defeat Argentina 4 2 has already put us somewhere in the global map, and everyone knows that you can't take Nigeria for granted. So I'm sure mm. that neither of the teams will actually look at Nigeria and say, Oh, yeah. I think they will be a lot more serious because by the time we are done with those friendly games with our, our World Cup uh, uh, warm up games, I think, so, we'll, so you I just think we'll, we'll send Shivers down a lot. So, of so Croatia will just look at the rankings and say, oh, come on, they're still Nigeria. I, I hope they do that. I hope they do that. But then the rankings always gets us talking because uh, no one seems to understand what FIFA looks at 
uh, before uh, releasing those rankings. Uh, so much Every time about, you try to understand so it. talks about coefficients. <laughs> so, 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 so coefficients. Explain to us. Uh, but let's see, let's see the world rankings. Um, but when we see the world rankings, sometimes you just agree that this is what it is. Germany, uh, for about four months, has been Brazil uh, has been the top-ranked football country in the world. But Germany uh, now occupies the spot. Brazil is second. Portugal is third. Argentina is fourth. Uh, Belgium is fifth, Spain sixth, Poland. Good to know that we'll be playing Poland. Uh, a friendly match before the World Cup, that's good for the country. Uh, Switzerland is eighth, France is ninth, and Chile is tenth. So that's the top ten. So some will say, who cares about the ranking? Chile is ranked tenth in the world, and they are now the World Cup. <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh, <laughs> yeah. So that's it. Uh, let us for ranking uh, for you. Information that you can use. Nigeria is seventh in Africa and... 52nd in the world. Sports tonight on channels television. Remember, you can keep talking to us on Twitter, channels underscore sports, Facebook channels and Facebook. Let's go on this quick break. When we come back, we'll find out what you're talking about and we'll wrap up the show. Don't go anywhere. Stay.